Author's note, this video is my review of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, based on Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling, directed by Chris Columbus, published by Warner Brothers, Heyday Films, and 1492 Pictures, starring Daniel Radcliffe, Rupert Grint, Emma Watson, Kenneth Branagh, John Cleese, Robbie Coltrane, Jason Isaacs, Christian Coulson, Alan Rickman, and Richard Harris as Albus Dumbledore, rated PG. This video is dedicated to the memory of Richard Harris, the original actor who played Albus Dumbledore. What are you all doing here? Rescuing you, of course. Now come on, get your trunk. <laughs> One year after the success of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Warner Brothers returned to the big screen again with another success in the form of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. This night might well be the last you spend in this castle. Harry Potter returns for his second year at Hogwarts with a disastrous beginning, but things take a turn for the worse when several students are petrified by an unknown creature. Naturally, the school has been searched many times. No such chamber has been found. I'm gonna say this compared to the first film, it felt like they really wanted to push the narrative even sooner than before. The stakes felt like they were higher than the first film and everything felt like it was on edge. It still had that same magical tone, but it was darker than the last film. Also, Gilderoy Lockhart is an arrogant fool. Let's see what you make of them. No! In addition, it also felt like they did a lot more with the lore of the series. I mean, sure there was a flying car, but going back into the past and seeing more of Hogwarts and the origins of You Know Who, that was a real present. It's a rule that every great series needs to have lore to keep the audience curious, and that's what I really like about this film. And no, I'm not going to spoil the plot for this film, watch it yourselves or go read the original book. By the way, Gilderoy Lockhart is a real coward who does not deserve to be a celebrity. Scared Potter. You wish. Oh yeah, this movie finally ignited a rivalry between Harry Potter and Draco Malfoy. I mean, sure Draco didn't get much screen time, but it felt intense to see these two stare down each other like bitter enemies. In my mind, Draco brings a lot to the table when it comes to the Harry Potter franchise, and if anything, I actually hope we see more of this in future films. But if they do, please don't tell me about it, okay? I want to be surprised. And Gilderoy Lockhart is still an arrogant fool. I mean, kudos to Severus Snape for making him look like a bigger fool. How dare you steal that car! I do have a couple of issues with the film. The first one being Ron Weasley. It felt like this story really wanted to torment little Ron. From his strange mother, to his broken wand, to being heckled by classmates, and especially spiders. Man, someone must have really wanted to make Ron look like a complete fool. And seriously, why not make Gilderoy Lockhart look like a bigger fool? I mean, the best thing he's good for is comedy relief. Hello. Other issue that I have is with Dobie. Besides the fact that Doby caused a lot of problems for Harry Potter early in the film, he came off as a big nutcase that disturbed me. That's especially compared to Gollum of the Middle-Earth movies. I'm not, it's not really my process. Sorry. Thankfully, he does redeem himself in the end. For the moment. I'm hoping he doesn't go back to that crazed attitude of his. I mean, jeez. Though at least he's no Gilderoy Lockhart. I mean, that's a really big fool, just like Prince Blueblood of My Little Pony. <sighs> Longbottom's been neglecting his earmuffs. Overall, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets felt like a worthy sequel to The Philosopher's Stone. Darker, scarier, and enchanting, the Chamber of Secrets helps keep that bond of Harry, Ron, and Hermione strong while driving a powerful story that should be read by book or watched by film but I still wouldn't mind an episodic Harry Potter series. Did I mention that Gilderoy Lockhart is a really big fool? Mark my words, Potter. One day soon, you are going to be the same sticky 